All right, uh, we told you earlier um, that all schools um, have been ordered closed uh, by the Ministry of Education. We're, that's a live shot we're showing you. Not raining where we are right now, but uh, uh, the Med Service says uh, the tropical storm watch goes on till five this afternoon. So y'all be careful. All right, so like the course of love, the path to a higher education has its own set of challenges. However, LaShawn LeBailey Miller and Kevin Miller managed to graduate with their master's degrees at the same time. What a nice, like what? There are guests now. Hi, lady. Hi, gentlemen. Good morning. Hi, Simone. Congratulations. Good morning, Simone. Thank you. You're just so nice. Um, let's trace this journey just a little bit. You both started together in 07 and then yes. you said life started to life yes so okay it looks like lash is going to start first because <laughs> <laughs> you're ready to talk tell me what happened all right so where do you start i finished when i started in 2007 so i'm going to give kevin his chance to tell <laughs> okay. his story tell me what happened Right. Um, from ever since not really being a love of uh, school, formal, you know, mm. four walls type of learning mm. situation. And so I started with Lash in 2007 and we were both supposed to finish in 2009. At the time I signed up to do an associate degree. I did about one or two semesters and then that was it. <laughs> what happened? Um, you just never, you just never... Uh, okay, so initially I, I signed up to do an um, MIS course. But the MIS course was not accredited, so MIS I had to switch is, is management, management information, information systems. system. Wasn't accredited. It wasn't accredited no, at the time. We did that for sir. Right. So, I did, but yeah. we never really realized yeah, at the time. Yeah, yeah. So I had to switch to another program, and in switching to the next program, I wasn't feeling the program. Mm -hmm. Plus, this 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 four, the four wall learning is is really not me to be honest. So I decided that I was going to stop, and I was not going to be pursuing any degree any at all. 2011 came and I decided that I was going to go back. I had deferred, but then I, go, I went back 2011. Mm -hmm. By this time, Lash was finished in 2009. Correct. Get our bachelor's degree Bandit. and a Bandit. laugh Bandit. after Bandit. me. Yes. Right, really laugh. <laughs> was she really laughing at you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. she did. <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> I do not recall. I do not recall. <laughs> right, yeah. but at 2011, um, I, 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 re, uh, I, I restarted. And then in 2012, I stopped again after about two semesters and Same I stopped again. Same four walls thing. Same four walls yeah. thing. Really wasn't feeling it. Yeah. But fast forward now to 2017, opportunities start coming up in the company. And I was told that, why? You know, we find a technically competent. But okay. if you do not have the academic, yeah. you know, qualification and certification to back it up, then mm -hmm. this was after I did the interview and all. So I had to go back. Mm -hmm. No, I was forced to go back. Mm -hmm. Sometimes um, you got to be forced to go back. Right. Well, I was forced the right time because I had 30 credits at the time. And because I had deferred, I had one more semester before I was timed out. Jeez. One more God semester. Oh, God. Yes. My goodness, So Kevin. went back and 2017 all the way up to 2020. 2020 when I, when I, when I completed in August 2020. Mm -hmm. Lash, what So it took me about 13 years to do my first degree. That nice, eh? <laughs> Are you not you know, cussing? Do you cussing? No, you know, no. But just tell Mr. So whatever works for him, yes, we let it time. work. Yes. What about you? So you finished the first degree. I won't um, tell you, you know, Simone, my one never accredited either, you know. What? <laughs> and then I had to wait like two, three years for it to be accredited. Wow. I, I was doing um, heritage studies at Michael oh. and I was in the first court. Okay, so you started in, the, at the same time, you finished your first degree in when? 2009. Nine. Um, 2014 was a rough year for, for you? Yes, so 2014, I, um, I enrolled at UWE to do heritage studies at the time, a master's in heritage studies. And, um, you know, I went through first semester, second semester came and then I just crashed. It was a rough period. Depression. Rough period in my life. Mm -hmm. Depression, depression, depression. And it was really, really dark. It was dark and deep. 
yeah. Usually is. Yes, man. Yes, man. And so nice. I couldn't get out of it. I couldn't. I couldn't go back to school. I even stopped teaching that year. And um, of course, that was how Inspire 365 mm -hmm. came because to you life. Your job in 2015. Yes. Was that a result of uh, that was as a result of everything you're going through? Right. And um, on the job, I wasn't. I wasn't mm -hmm. feeling fulfilled. I wasn't feeling. Mm -hmm. I was living my purpose. Mm -hmm. All of that kind of stuff. And um, so from 2015 all the way up to 2020, 2021, I was doing Inspire 365. Mm. So Inspire has been doing well for you? Yes. Inspire is jewelry? Inspire 365. That's your, that's your heart work, that's yes. your passion. Yes, because um, it's passion and purpose for Absolutely. me. Absolutely. So I love to make jewelry and then I found my purpose, which is to help to keep others alive mm. out of their state so that of was, depression. that was the... That was the, the depression was the through and inspire was the out, Yes, yes, right? so yes. So we start somewhere and then we go the through, but we have to feel through the through. To and we know that the only way out is it's to through. go through. That's yes. right. Look yes. at you now, though. This is a testimony for you. So 2021, the two owners say, all right, let's do this again. No. <laughs> no? Oops. So, so 2021, I decided, so we did the done with school after first degree, um, but then pandemic hit. Everybody's home. And I remember I was talking to one of my lecturer from undergrad, very good um, guy, good friend of mine now, Stefan Clark, big up yourself. And Stefan said to me that we we're having a discussion. And he said, oh, we're going to do your master's. And he was the one who suggested my master's uh, logistics and supply chain management. And I said, all right, I'm going to trust you and I'm going to go ahead. Look and at that, because let me tell you where the world is headed. As yes, you well yes, know, yes. you're not going to shut up work, yes. Kevin. Well, I don't Great think I believe in my job either. Yeah, <laughs> but well, I'll be using it to fulfill my own personal ambitions excellent. because I want to do things in logistics. Yeah. Actually started too, but... Well, that was a, such a big deal during COVID because yeah. you know what happened to that. So our first year was entirely online. And then Lash decided that she wanted, she liked the prospect of us finishing together right. and graduating together. And I think it was cool. I think it, was, has it, to it, be, was it had nice. to be Lash's idea. Of, because... of course. And the finances, <laughs> you think about the money? Yes. Then it starts getting challenging. Yes. I know you're paying two master's degree school fee, and it's just really. It, How was my, that? My own, How my was that was doing it together? How was that? It, it, two it, different courses of study, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So but for you're me, able to help each other, I'm sure. Huh? No. <laughs> well, it felt like I was doing two <laughs> master's degree mm -hmm. because with her degree, uh, I'll give her a chance to explain it. But with her degree, she had to be going places to be interviewing people and all over the place. She was in humanities faculty. What did you do, Lash? Um, so, I, so when I started, it was heritage studies, and um, when I resumed, it was still heritage studies, but with some changes. And um, in the process of transitioning to public history and Caribbean heritage, oh, wow. so I am the so first. Like, is that Stani, Stani, Stani Naya's faculty, the cultural studies ish? No. No, okay. Mm -hmm. So I, I ended up now as the first court again. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's now public history and Caribbean heritage. So it's a lot of digging into Jamaica's um, heritage and trying to figure out how we're going to preserve it and how to pass it on and mm, stuff like legacy. that. Legacy. Love right. that for you. Field trip and all. I had to yeah. be there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm in my own little corner doing my assignment or. Then the bad. Nothing no wrong with that. No, 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 no. And yeah, getting like, bond at the same time. Yes, yeah, so travel like, and bond and study. <laughs> exactly. Right? That's three birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, when you look back at that picture, tell me what you feel in that moment. The two of you. Accomplishment. Yeah. Yes. Accomplishment. Yes. For me, um, I, I struggled with whether or not to to um, continue and to finish up the degree over the years. And then, you know, there was something in me that was saying, finish what you started. Just complete what you have started. Because I felt like I was also getting into the habit of starting things and not finishing it. And I said, all right, this is something big that I've started and I am going to finish it. Done is better than perfect. Yeah, Done exactly. Always. Um, okay, when you look at the picture, what do you see? Likewise, I think it's the, I, I, I went through, I pushed myself through something that I did not necessarily like. Mm -hmm. Online class for me was, was, was brilliant. Mm -hmm. um, but then I got my better grades while I started going in class, sitting around the people and talking with them. And for me, it's, I, I, feel, I felt slash feel fulfilled that I was able to tell myself that this is something that is necessary. I always tell my children or my child, the bigger one now, that education is a master key that will open any door in life. 
You're not wrong. And many a times we can do a lot of things, but you have to show the evidence of you being of able to, that you actually know the best practices mm -hmm. and principles. Mm -hmm. So uh, for me, going through that master's degree, it, it feels like I accomplished something. Um, it very, and it feels like the end of a, of a proper journey, mm -hmm. but the beginning of something that is even greater, thanks to Stefan Clark. I remember he said to me that if he could live his life over again, he would have done his master's degree earlier. Had to be a clerk. A good man <laughs> give you good advice. Clerks yes. give very good advice. Come when on. I look at the picture I see for you, um, Lash, I see um, perseverance, right? Because when I look in your eyes and I hear what you've told me, I think back to the depressive episode and how you probably thought at that point that you couldn't get to where you are today. So that's what I see. And for you, Kev, I see discipline, which is greater than motivation could ever be because on the days when we lose the motivation and we don't want to do it, it's mm -hmm. a muscle of discipline that right. gets us through. And then I see pride yep. in the both of you. But I am so proud of you both to have done this because I know it's not an easy journey. It, it was rough. You've done there, were, it. there were times where there were children sitting in the car while we were there studying. We spent over, all night all at, night, at, at, yes. at studying, finishing our final projects. Um, her, her uh, my, final, my final project was a documentary um, on demystifying Kumina. So I had to be mm -hmm. out in St. Mm -hmm. Thomas, in the basically chasing Portland mm -hmm. and Portland mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. But you guess know. what, guys? Now you say it was hard because you're done. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Round of applause for the team. Good job. If we went through it, anybody can go through it. Yes. I, I you. There are two so that's people your, in that's life, your you know. story. There's yes, two set of people in life. You have one set who complain and find excuse. You have another set to get it done. Yes. And well, you on. know them well because you are both. <laughs> but right. a great story with Absolutely. a great ending. And as I say, if you just push through and, and just laser focus, once you are sold on what the goal is, right. you'll go through all the challenges. Thank you guys for sharing your amazing story. Lash, did you bring me any jewelries? Of course. I have a leather pair of earrings that you gave me and I can't find one. I did tell you already. You know. Oh, we have to wrap. We'll talk about that off the air. LaShondra Bailey Miller, <laughs> Kevin Miller, graduates of the UWI, both with master's degrees. After the break, we're chatting with dancehall artist Maka Diamond. We're back with that after this.